In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen, dearly beloved in Christ, and Father Emmanuel, Alia, and Allah share with you a touch of God's love. That's uh, a short reflection and prayer on the Holy Mass readings of Thursday, 11th uh, July, 2024. The readings are taken from... Hosea 11, 1 to 4, 8 to 9, Psalm 97, 2 to 3, 15 to 16, and Matthew 10, 17 to 15. The theme of the revelation is how to love, how to love. The first reading says, Thou says the Lord, when Israel was a child, I loved him, and I called my son out of Egypt, but the more I called to them, the further they went from me. They, they have offered sacrifice to the bowels and set their offerings smoking before the idols. I myself taught Ephraim to walk. I took them in my arms, yet they have not understood that I was the one looking after them. I led them with reins of kindness, with leading strings of love. I was like someone who lifts an infant close against his cheek. Stooping down to him, I gave him his food. Ephraim, how could I part with you? Israel, how could I give you up? How could I treat you like Adma? Or deal with you like Zebu Zeboim? <coughs> My heart recoils from it. My whole being trembles at the thought. I will not give rein to my fierce anger. I will not destroy Ephraim again. I am God, not man. I am the Holy One in your midst, and I have no wish to destroy. And the Gospel says, Jesus instructed the twelve as follows, As you go, Proclaim that the kingdom of heaven is close at hand. Cure the sick, raise the dead, cleanse the lepers, cast out devils, you receive without charge, give without charge. Provide yourselves with no gold or silver, not even with a few coppers for your purses. Would not have a sack for the journey or spare tunic or footwear or a staff for the workman deserves his keep. Whatever town or village you go into, ask for someone trustworthy and stay with him until you leave. As you enter his house, salute it, and if the house deserves it, let your peace descend upon it. If it does not, let your peace come back to you. And if anyone does not welcome you or listen to what you have to say, as you walk out of the house or town, shake the dust from your feet. I tell you solemnly, on the day of judgment, it will not go as hard with the land of Sodom uh, and Gomorrah as with that town. Beloved, the first reading shows how God loves people. He loved Israel when she was a child, freed her from slavery in Egypt, taught her how to walk, lifted her in his arms close to his cheeks, stooped down to give her food, and led her with a lot of love. God showed her, God showed Israel a lot of love. But the more he loved Israel, the father she went away from him. Rather, she gave herself the bowels. She gave herself to the bowels and worshipped them. Yet, he would not, God would not part with her, despite, despite her unfaithfulness. God would not part with her, because God is not a human. God is the Holy One of Israel, He's not a human. The reading therefore teaches us to love like God, and not like the Israelites. Not to love with an unfaithful love, but to love with faithful love. God is faithful. 
and his love never ends. His love is patient, merciful, unconditional, but reciprocal. Reciprocal because he expects us, he expects love from us, and he keeps persuading us to love him back. So his love is both charity and justice. Charity in the sense that he'll never stop loving us, he'll never stop showing us love. But justice in the sense that he expects us to do what is just, what is right, and to love him back. He expects that. The gospel is a practical demonstration of this love. He left the glories of heaven, lowered himself, and came down to help us. His love was able to attract the twelve apostles. His love was able to attract them. Now he sent them forth uh, to the people who have rejected his love, the Israelites, to, so that they will share the love with them. He does not ask them to go and only preach. He asks them to go to cure the sick, raise the dead, cleanse the lepers, cast out devils. So the love of God is not only theory, it's not only talking, it's also practical, it's active. Uh, yeah, but he asks them not to go and do business also. They should not go and look for money because, and, uh, because he said, you receive without charge, give without charge, give without charge. Provide yourselves no gold or silver, not even with a few coppers for your purses. Would not have a sack for the journey, or spare tunic, or footwear, or staff. You are not to go and do business or look for money. Yet they have the right to demand some basic needs. Because he also said, the workman deserves his keep. The workman deserves his keep. So they have the right to be catered for. They also have the right to look for a hospitable place to stay till they leave. They have the right to do that. And if they are unwelcome, if they are unwelcome, they can shake the dust off their feet as a testimony against the people who have unwelcomed them, who have rejected them. This implies that God's love is not only charitable, but also just. It's also just. It is an everlasting and unconditional, it is everlasting and unconditional, but it does not impose it on us. It is proposed the love is proposed, and if we accept it, then we'll bene it will benefit us. But if we reject it, then we deny ourselves of its benefits. So the dust, so shaking the dust off again to people is a sign that uh, they themselves have rejected the benefit of the love of God. They themselves have rejected it, but we are always welcome to receive it. Therefore, to love is to love like God, that is, with an everlasting, unconditional, charitable, but just love. Charitable, but just love. Dearly beloved, in the name of Jesus, receive the grace of an everlasting, unconditional, charitable, and just love. In the name of Jesus, receive the grace to love like God. Amen. Can I share God's love by sharing this message with others and subscribing to this YouTube channel to enable us to do more. The subscription is free, the icon for subscription is at the bottom corner of the right side of the video. And may Almighty God bless and protect you always, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.